Market Watch. Sometimes unexpected things happen, and you could use a little extra money, especially for the holidays. The people at H&R Block understand. That's why they offer the Emerald Advance, a line of credit up to $1,000 that you can use when you need it. You don't even need your W-2 to apply, just your latest pay stub and photo ID. Stop by or call 1-800-HR-BLOCK to learn more. H&R Block Emerald Advance line of credit and Emerald Savings offer through H&R Block Bank, member FDIC at participating offices. Line of credit subject to underwriting and credit approval. Fees apply. Details at hrblock.com slash emerald advance. Offer expires January 15, 2014. You live like no one else so you can retire like no one else. But are your assets protected? Are they safe if the unforeseen happens? Will they be there to provide for you and your family? You know, the good book says that my people suffer from a lack of knowledge. Hi, I'm attorney Bill Waringa, and I've dedicated my practice to helping people like you protect what you've worked so hard for. Let me show you how to protect your family's assets from nursing homes, lawsuits, and the in-laws. Call me, Bill Waringa, for a free consultation today and see how to protect your nest egg. Just call 855-C-BILL. That's 855-S-E-E-B-I-L-L. Or stop by my office on Millam Avenue in Portage, just east of Oakland. Arm yourself with the information that you need to protect yourself and your family. Call me today, 855-C-BILL, or visit my website at 855-C-BILL.com. And don't let the nursing home scramble your nest egg. Talk Radio 1360 WKMI. Accurate, dependable weather from the Fox 17 Weather Zone. Some light rain showers are possible during the day, but will actually stay dry for much of the daytime hours on Thursday with highs in the upper 40s. But as we get into late in the day, we'll see some rain returning. It'll be most widespread this evening, then start to wind down by daybreak Friday. Lows around 40, maybe a few flurries tomorrow. I'm Fox 17 meteorologist John Shaner. The Senate has voted to overturn decades of precedent by scrapping a rule that allows a minority to block final votes. Senate Democrats voted to throw out the rule requiring 60 votes to assure a yes or no vote on presidential nominees to the courts, cabinet departments, and other agencies. ABC's Ann Compton with reaction from those in the administration. While the Senate debated the significant rules change, Vice President Biden, who by law is the president of the Senate, was stopping at a sandwich shop. Does he support the controversial move? Uh, yes, I do. But he didn't always. When Republicans were in the Oval Office, Biden called it a power grab and arrogant. Ann Compton, ABC News, the White House. A big cargo plane landed at the wrong Wichita area airport overnight. This hour, they are expected to try and move it, even though the runway where it did land is way too short. Police in Britain say three women had been freed after 30 years in captivity in a London home. One of them believed to have spent her entire life as a virtual slave. A man and woman are under arrest. Sherry Preston, ABC News. John Hannity, weekday afternoons at 3 on Talk Radio 1360 WKMI. Ah, very you. Great to have you back, folks. Rush Limbaugh, the EIB Network, and the Limbaugh Institute for Advanced Conservative Studies. There's a new book out by a guy named Iris Stone.